So do a squat for me. Okay. So what I'm looking at, so for me, what I'm looking at here is when he squats. So what does his feet do? Does his feet want to turn out? Are they actually stat even points? Go down. So what does his knees do? Does his knees collapse inwards? Do they stay out? Very simple. And how does he come out of the bottom? Does he shift with his hips or does he stay nice and still? So this is our next stage. Obviously, it's a little bit more difficult now because all we've done with the dowel up overhead. Now for here, it's going to test his mobility throughout a lot more. So as he comes down, the main aim for this is to keep this stick over the back of his head. If it dips too far forward or too far back, it's going to put a lot of stress on the shoulders. Also, maybe a little bit of pain in the lower back. So come up overhead. So go through a nice control. Take your time. Now, as you want to go through, so what I want you to also focus on is not trying to come forwards. You also want to come straight down. So almost like you're trying to aim, so you've got a target below you. So it's right here. There's your targets right there. So see how there's that mark on the ground? That's going to use that. That's going to be your target. I want you to drop straight to that position. There we go. That looks a lot better. A little bit of wobble is okay because I'm guessing this is the first time you've ever done overhead squat. So that's always going to happen. And quite well. Elbow's coming out, so it's good. Go down. So nice depth for me. If they can get elbow to knee, that's always about that's about bare minimum. Any deeper, obviously better, but then we also got to watch how far what the lower back does throughout. So he's got a nice straight back, looking good. Get up in position. Good time. Elbows up. Now when you squat, I want to keep those elbows there. I don't want those elbows coming down. Let's go. So elbows up, nice control. There you go. So for me, so if we get the position there, it's sitting roughly in front of the so the main head of the kettlebell is going to be sitting just in front of the shoulder. We okay, go one more. Bring your feet, so when you come, bring your feet a little bit wider for me. Just a little inch up. Go from there. Now as you go down, push your knees straight out to the side. So the reason why I'm asking knees to go out is also I'm trying to help clear the hips. So because everyone has, there's about three different types of hip structures and everyone's also different because our leg lengths and everything. Beautiful, see so every rest there. So we're not always gonna have the same sort of squat action. So my squat's gonna be a lot wider stance because that's how I am, whereas compared to Phoenix, Phoenix is a little bit narrower. If your hips don't allow you, you're gonna squat comfortably. I can't sit there and play a cookie cutter approach to you. I've gotta get there and get you into a natural comfortable position. Proper front squats go up, goes in there. Now this one here, you're also gonna have a little bit more upright for your squat. So a very similar to the goblet squat, where the back's not gonna be able to actually hinge over a bit. You're gonna be standing quite tall. So my feet, set myself up, point my toes out, Elbows up in the air. I can roll off one finger, that's all right. As long as we're comfy and the bar's nice and secure, come down, come back up. Very simple. Sitting on the heels, coming through. If I go too far forward, that's gonna, how I'm going to lose the bar. So I need to make sure this one here, my elbows stay up, my back's pretty much straight. That's it. 